this mass is offered for Carl Montgomery is the first month's mind mass, Victor Mendonca, month's mind mass, for the soul of Elizabeth Fernandez, month's mind mass, for the soul of Blenny Pinto, month's mind mass, for the soul of Freddy Alfonso, month's mind mass. This mass is also offered for the soul of Stanley Dias, is the first death anniversary, for the soul of Rebecca Richard Dias, first death anniversary. This mass is also offered for 10 box intentions. Today Jesus asks us a simple question. Who do you say I am? At this Eucharistic celebration, let us reflect on Jesus' identity and how his identity can shape our lives so that we too can become living witnesses to our Lord. For our entrance, we shall take him number 223, Jesus, you're the sweetest name of all. Jesus, you're the sweetest name of all. Jesus, you always hear me when I call. Oh, oh, Jesus, you pick me up each time I fall. You're the sweetest, the sweetest name of all. Jesus, how I love to praise your name. Jesus, you're still the first, the last, the same. Oh, Jesus, you died and took away my shame. You're the sweetest, the sweetest name of all. You're the sweetest, the sweetest name of all. You're the sweetest. The sweetest name of all. Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries together we say i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us praise God. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
you take our faith the saints of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father have mercy on us for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the whole holy spirit in the glory of god the father amen 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 let us pray O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord of hosts to Shebna, the master of the palace. I dismiss you from your office. I remove you from your post. And the same day I call on my servant Eliakim, son of Hilkiah. I invest him with your robe, gird him with your sash and trust him with your authority and he shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. I place the key of the house of David on his shoulder. Should he open, no one shall close. Should he close, no one shall open. I drive him like a peg into a firm place. He will become a throne of glory for his father's house. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. Together. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. Before the angels, I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. Our response. Your love, O oh Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. I thank you for your faithfulness and love which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered. You increased the strength of my soul. Our response. Your love, O oh Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. How rich are the depths of God! How deep his wisdom and knowledge! 
and how impossible to penetrate his motives or understand his methods. Who could ever know the mind of the Lord? Who could ever be his counsellor? Who could ever give him anything or lend him anything? All that exists comes from him. All is by him and for him. To him be glory forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the underworld can never hold out against it. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he put this question to his disciples. Who do people say the Son of Man is? And he said, Some say he is John the Baptist, some Elijah and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But you, he said, who do you say I am? Then Simon Peter spoke up, you are the Christ, he said, the son of the living God. Jesus replied, Simon, son of Jonah, you are a happy man because it was not flesh and blood that revealed this to you, but my father in heaven. So I now say to you, you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church. And the gates of the underworld can never hold out against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be considered loosed in heaven. Then he gave his disciples strict orders not to tell anyone that he was the Christ. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, there was an article about one of the leading doctors of how he mentioned how a patient helped him to look at his own personal life beyond his own profession. The doctor says that as regular he and the other medical students along with him were doing rounds with the visiting the patients and many of the patients some of them look intimidated anxious fearful apprehensive but there was this one elderly gentleman in about his 60s Whenever the doctor and his medical students, he would go to visit this particular gentleman, he would answer, he would just greet them and say, hey boys and girls, welcome, with a smile on his face. Some of even the medical students were taken aback. They said like many of the people want, they look at us, you know, for advice, for comfort. But here is a man who is totally different. And some of them even said to the doctor that he looks right into us. It was one evening that this man grew very worse. And he was 
put in the ICU. The doctor went himself to see and examine him. When the, the man felt the doctor examining him, he opened his eyes and looked at the doctor with a grin. The doctor did not say anything. He continued to look at the charts and the reports of the file of that particular patient. Then he asked, the man asked the doctor, who are you? The doctor thought that because of all the heavy medications, the man was not conscious. He did not recognize the, him who would visit him daily. Before the doctor telling anything to this man, the man said, Dr. Smith, who are you? Doctor stood at that moment. He, was, he said, I am your doctor. You're right, I am Dr. Smith. But at that very particular moment, he, the doctor just stopped. He did not know what to say further. All his accomplishments just flashed in front of him. And looking at the doctor, the man again grinned and closed his eyes. The doctor then asked, them, asked this man, is there anything I can do for you? The man replied, I am tired. And after some time, my dear brothers and sisters, the man died. The doctor could not get out of this question which this particular gentleman put in front of him. Who are you? It was as if this man took all the degrees, all his accomplishments and threw right at him. Asking him the question, who are you? What is your true identity? My dear brothers and sisters, we see in front of the camera many people. Sometimes we want to imitate the people we see on, our, on the television and our mobile phones. We are very much taken up by them. But then, if when we hear the stories behind their life, we are very much taken aback. And today's gospel, we see Jesus asking the disciples the question, who do you say I am? Two questions that is put forth by Jesus. First is, what about others? And the disciples give Jesus various answers. The people were looking at Jesus about the teaching that he was teaching them, the works that he was doing. They were looking at him from their own point of view. They had, they, were, they had learned or heard about the various past prophets and great people. And they were looking at Jesus in that particular angle. My dear brothers and sisters, they were looking at the externals of Jesus rather than looking at him really. What about us? Do we look at Jesus at really who he is or do we look at Jesus through something through our experiences of what we want to see Jesus to be as the crusaders in the 12th century saw Jesus as the savior as the person who kills and therefore they went ahead and killed many people Many times, my dear brothers and sisters, we look at Jesus at the way we want to see Jesus. If Jesus does everything, whatever we ask him, we say, yes, God is good. All the time we say, yes, he is good. But if Jesus does not fulfill our wish or what we pray to him for, then we say the opposite. We say God is bad, Jesus does not answer my prayers. We look at Jesus, we make him a savior, we make him a friend as per what we want him to be. 
And today, my dear brothers and sisters, we are invited, questioned, asked to look into ourselves and to remove that what we look at and to look at Jesus as he is. And how? How can we do that? That comes in the second question of Jesus when he asks his disciples, who do you say I am? Simon Peter answers. And further in the gospel, Jesus says, it is my father who has spoken through you, the spirit of God who has spoken through you, my dear brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit, Jesus has called us. We did not choose Jesus. He chose us at our baptism. He made a sign of the cross. When the sign of the cross was made on our forehead, we belong to him. He chose us. Let us be open, open to the Holy Spirit working in our lives. Look and experience Jesus as he really is and not as what we want to see Jesus as. Let us stand and profess our faith. We, take, we say the Apostles' Creed together and at the Virgin Mary we bow at the words. Together we say, I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered upon this Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell on the third day, rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. God, our Father, with faith and confidence, we bring before you our petitions, trusting in your infinite love and mercy. Your response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Kindly repeat. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, successor to St. Peter, and keeper of the keys of the kingdom, that our Lord Jesus may bless and strengthen him in his ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all world leaders, especially those entrusted with government duties, that at this time of economic turmoil, the Holy Spirit may enlighten and guide them to undertake their responsibilities with justice and integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the sick, the poor and those lacking resources, that our loving Father may turn his gaze upon them with compassion and give them relief in their illness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the unemployed and those worried about the security of their jobs, that in their difficulties they may receive a generous share of the bounties of the earth gifted to us by our all-giving Creator and Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. For our faithful departed, that our merciful God will welcome them into the fullness of light and life for all eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We now pray for our personal needs and those of our community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. Almighty Father, may your word not return to you without carrying out your will in us. In your mercy, your kindly to the prayers we bring before you. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
for of a tree we shall take him number 254 lord accept this bread and wine lord accept this bread and wine take our hearts and make them thine take our work and our anxiety give them life and liberty change this bread into your body and this wine into your blood change our lives make us united lord to spread the love of christ the lord pray brother and sister that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church O Lord, who gain for yourself a people adoption to the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow gradually on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is God. right and just. It is truly right and just, the duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and above the Holy Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the Church, and so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest hosanna in the highest hosanna hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death O Lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord a bread of life and a chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you 
Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and also the gracious our Bishop, all his auxiliaries, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and with all the saints that please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We also pray for all those who celebrate their birthdays and anniversaries today. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other happy sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only, but only the say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us prepare our mind and our hearts and our entire being now to receive Jesus spiritually into our lives. Together we say, My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For our communion, we shall take a Konkani hymn. 
Jesu to ye Kalsant, hymn number 117 on page 52. Jesu to ye Kalsant, to ye, to ye. Bidar korung tu ye, tu je samurai liao, tu karakon rau liao, laki ye, tu wegi ye, laki ye, laki ye, tu wegi ye. Tu sao na saiu swad, kalo huk pois down danso. Morna kalo huk mi vraun, amar jivla bonso. Uswad fankai, jivit la boi, sargi mi vasat pavoi. Uswar fankai jivit laboi sargi ni vasak pavoi. Jesu tu ye kalsam, tu ye tu ye. Bidar korung tu ye, tu je samurai liao. Tu kahara kon rau liau, laki ye, tu wegi ye, laki ye, laki ye, tu wegi ye. Sumia tu che vine, rite am che jine. Am chaya jivitan, tun ste sargi dene. Ugar la dar, kar tu bidar, za am so ni sor vondar. Ugar la dar, kar tu bidar, za am so ni sor vondar. Jesu tu ye kalsam, tu ye, tu ye. Bidar korung tu ye, tu je samurai liao, tu kahara kon rau liao, laki ye, tu wiki ye. Lagi ye, lagi ye, tu wiki ye. Lagi ye, tu wiki ye. Lagi ye, lagi ye, tu wiki ye. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We shall recite the prayer together. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere. Hear graciously the prayer we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they may take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Notices. The children's Navina services in spiritual preparation for the feast of Our Lady of Nativity will be streamed via the church YouTube website at 5.30 p.m. daily from 30th August till 8th September. 
the teens will invite all to imitate our blessed mother's virtues as model disciple of Jesus and queen of all creation. Sunday, August 30th, theme Mary Most Obedient. 31st August, Mary Most Blessed. 1st September, Mary Most Sensitive. 2nd September, Mary Most Committed. 3rd September, Mary Most Faithful. 4th September, Mary Most Humble. 5th September, Mary Most Merciful. 6th September, Mary Most Hopeful. 7th September, Mary Most Efficacious Mediator. On Tuesday, September 8th, the Feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary will also be observed as the Day of the Girl Child with a special Mass at 5.30 p.m. Signed by Parish Priest Father Harry Vaz. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We shall now sing a Marathi hymn, hymn number 188, on page 60, Dhanyavad Yeshula. Dhanyavad Yeshula, Dhanyavad Yeshula, Hallelujah, Rajan Charajala, Prabhu Cha Prabhula, Dhanyavad Yeshula, Hallelujah, Rajan Charajala, Prabhu Cha Prabhula, Dhanyavad Yeshula, Mahima Gadya Tyala, Mahima Gadya Tyala, Hallelujah, Rajan Charajala, Prabhu Cha Prabhula, Mahima Gatya Tyala, Hallelujah, Rajan Charajala, Prabhu Cha Prabhula, Mahima Gatya Tyala, Gaurav Tya Tyala, Gaurav Tya Tyala, Hallelujah, Rajan Charajala, Prabhu Cha Prabhula, Gaurav Dhyā Tyala Hallelujah Rajan Cha Rajala Prabhu Cha Prabhula Gaurav Dhyā Tyala Hallelujah Rajan Cha Rajala Prabhu Cha Prabhula Gaurav Dhyā Tyala In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen